pigs are the weirdest one because pigs like uh, my friend Whitney Cummings she adopted a pig that where did where, she get that pig I think it was from the fire right yeah and she actually wound up driving it to Texas she drove in her car 24 hours she's a fucking maniac when it comes to animals I think her and her fiance drove to Texas with this fucking pig to drop it off at this pig shelter and damn, dude, when you she's with that pig, that thing is like a dog. No, I mean, good honor. Yeah, well that's be, awesome. Yeah, might as well be my dog. I yeah, mean, just like hanging out. Oh, they're an intelligent sweet. animal. Yeah, but when they get loose and they're out in the wild, boy, they fucking breed three, four oh, times yeah. a year. Yeah. They'll have big piles of piglets, and those piglets will destroy. They eat everything in yeah. sight. They're, they're omnivorous. Absolutely devastating they're to the ecosystem for everything. They're yeah, devastating to plants yeah. and. Ground nesting birds, animals, everything. They yeah, eat yeah. everything in front of them. Yeah. They're pigs. Yeah. And I don't hate them. No. Like, I don't hate them. I no. love pigs. I think they're an unreal yeah. animal. But the bigger picture is they need to be controlled. They can't go out there and just ruin the, you know, our ecosystem like that. Well, there's, you're seeing it in Texas. Texas is probably, in the United States, is the biggest example of what happens when, or the best example of what happens when these feral mm. hogs are just completely out of control. They just devastate these uh agricultural farms yeah and they have these farms and they're just getting destroyed yeah i mean and it's I've all seen the wildlife the- other wildlife as well because they eat frogs and they'll mm-hmm. eat lizards and they'll, oh, yeah. anything that's on the ground that's edible they'll eat it yeah um i wrote an article years ago it was called uh, uh killer at the pass it was a place in australia and the the property owners like the ranchers called me up and they said you need to come out and shoot some of the foxes like they're devastating our lambs and uh, I ended up going out there, and when I was driving in with the four-wheel drive at night with the high beams on, I seen this massive big black and white ball walking between the flock of sheep with a lamb in its mouth. There was this wow. pig, and it had got a taste for meat, and it happens all the time. Like, So a big boar, especially a mature animal, will get a taste for meat in harsher conditions, and they'll just stick to meat after that. And uh, I ended up catching up with this pig the next morning and shot it with the bow. It actually attacked me. The first shot wasn't perfect, and it charged me, and I ended up, like, stabbing it to death. <laughs> I was on a slope like this on the mountain. Jesus. And it was really a battle. Like, but and he ended up hooking the bow out of my hand because when he charged me, I put an arrow on and shot and just went down one side and, like, hit one lung. And it just infuriated this boar, and he was on me. And um, when I was fending him off with the bow, his tusk went into the bottom limb of the bow or the cam or something like that and ripped the bow out of my hand. And I end up getting my knife off me and I end up like stabbing this pig while it was like trying to run me over. Holy shit. How big was it? It was a big boar. It was like big meat and meat eating boar like this. And uh, like how many pounds? Oh, fucking big. That's how many pounds? 300? Probably not 300. 200? Our mountain boars just get real solid. Yeah, probably 200 or something like that. And uh, anyway, I end up stabbing this thing to death. <laughs> and. When I end up cutting it open, its whole insides, like its whole stomach was like lamb's hocks, like the feet, the bottom of the feet where they can't swallow and skulls and just like little bits of uh, wool and stuff like that. Wow. It'd just been going around and just picking these lambs off and killing them. Wow. Yeah, and it's a really known occurrence in Australia now that if things get harsh, they'll just go, they'll just, because they're, they're just absolutely ruthless. They'll just walk right between the sheep. And just fucking grab a lamb, walk off of it, chew it up, and eat it. True. But anyway, first thing in that morning that I found was a pig spew, and it was like this fucking spew like this, and it was the same it was lambs hocks, and it was What's like a spew? bits of vomit. Oh, you don't say spew in America? Yeah, you do, but I wasn't. I thought maybe okay. it meant something else to you. Yeah, it was fucking spewing, mate. Yeah, spew. Yeah. <laughs> spew. I spewed out. Yeah, yeah spew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happened at Disney yesterday. Fucking Walt Disney <laughs> spewed all over me. So they it just threw up bones and shit? Just threw up bones and stuff that it couldn't digest, but yeah, <sighs> end up yeah, lamb killer at the park. It's a destructive animal, and they're so ruthlessly efficient in terms of like how much food they can yeah. eat. Yeah, so a deer will walk along, and it will pick... You know, the, it will just pick the tops off grass and the mm-hmm. grass regrows, you know. A pig will go through and eat that grass and it will turn it over and eat the roots and everything as well. Causes, causes a lot of erosion and then there's no regrowth because there's no roots in the ground. Because they're greedy pigs. They're greedy pigs. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, You know they're the number one cause of death on farms? Really? Yeah, apparently with uh, domestic animals, uh, people falling into pig pens. 
and just into them. They just, yeah, yeah. they just devour. And, you know, when you're dealing with these giant domestic pigs, mm. they get fucking huge. Massive, yeah. Yeah, hundreds of pounds. Yeah, in, like, western New South Wales when times get tough, which is, like, seems to be fucking all the time now. But um, they'll get so desperate. Like, you'll shoot a pig, you're going through for the farmer, and you're just shooting them. You're not even really taking any meat off them because they're, like, they're, can they, they, they're eating meat theirself and they're, like, skin and bones and disgusting. It's more of like a cull mission and you'll come back in the afternoon and that pig will be completely skin and bones because the other pigs just get in there and just, and you'll hear them. You'll just hear them just scream and it's the most god awful sound there is. They cannibalize. They cannibalize, yeah. I was in uh, Tahoe Ranch and we were walking by this really high grass. The grass was like five foot high and you, we were only like maybe 10 yards away from these pigs fighting. Mm. And, I, and I said to Ranella, I said, no, come on, man. If you didn't know that those were pigs, if I told you there was demons in that grass, yeah. you would you would oh, completely yeah. believe it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's gone ballistic. <laughs> were you it hunting like them? Something. Yeah, it sounded oh, like something. Oh, that's the best sound the when you're hunting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was great, but it, it sounded like Lord of the Rings. It sounded yeah. like some horrific scene, <laughs> <orc>. a monster <laughs> movie. Yeah, it sounded like an orc. Yeah. It really did. I mean, they're they're. It's just how is that the same animal as those cute little things that Whitney Cummings is yeah, yeah, around with? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because the one that she had was like all fluffy and sitting in her bed, yeah, cute, loving it. She taught it how to go outside. To go was to the it bathroom. a pygmy pig? No, it was a pig. That was the other thing she told me. Apparently, those little pigs are not real. All they are is just underfed. Yeah, right. That's pretty fucking. That's wrong. fucked up. Yeah. Like when those people have those little tiny pigs, she's like, that's not real. Yeah. They're just, oh, it's a baby pig. It's a tiny little pig. It's just going to stay tiny. No, if you don't feed it, <laughs> it'll stay tiny.